In 1929, Albert Einstein was asked, is he believed in God? And he answered, I believe in Spinoza's God. Einstein's statement raises questions. Who is Spinoza? Who is Spinoza's God? What did Einstein mean? And most importantly, why did Einstein believe that? In today's video, we'll unravel the fascinating connection between Einstein and Spinoza's philosophy, explore their revolutionary ideas and what they mean for us today. He said, I believe in Spinoza's God. But what did he mean? Was Einstein rejecting traditional religion? Was he embracing spirituality? Or was this something else entirely? To understand Einstein's statement, we need to start with Baruch Spinoza, the 17th century Dutch philosopher whose ideas were centuries ahead of his time. Baruch Spinoza Born in 1632 in Amsterdam, Spinoza was a lens grinder by trade and a thinker by nature. He was excommunicated from the Jewish community at the age of 23 for his radical ideas. Yet, he remained steadfast in his pursuit of truth, living a modest and independent life. Spinoza's key idea was this, God and nature are one and the same. He argued that God isn't a separate being who watches over us, but the very fabric of existence itself. For Spinoza, understanding the laws of nature was a form of worship as it brought us closer to understanding God. During his lifetime, Spinoza was labeled a heretic. But centuries later, his ideas inspired thinkers, scientists, and even Einstein. Goethe, the famous writer, once said, Spinoza's thought calms and elevates me. Spinoza's belief in rationality and interconnectedness was ahead of its time. Spinoza's view of God can be compared to the parable of the blind men and the elephant. In this story, several blind men touch different parts of an elephant, a tusk, a leg, the tail each believing they understand the whole animal. Similarly, Spinoza believed that people often see only fragments of the universe, mistaking them for the whole. But through reason and understanding, we can begin to see the interconnectedness of everything. Now let's fast forward to the 20th century. Einstein, one of the greatest minds in history, often spoke about his belief in Spinoza's God. But what did he mean? Einstein rejected the idea of a personal God. He said, I do not believe in a God who rewards and punishes his creatures, or who has a will of the kind that we experience in ourselves. I believe in Spinoza's God. To him, God was the harmony of the universe, revealed through natural laws. Einstein often expressed a deep sense of awe about the universe. He once said, The eternal mystery of the world is its comprehensibility. For Einstein, science wasn't cold or mechanical. It was a way of connecting with the sublime. Einstein believed that science and spirituality were not enemies but two sides of the same coin. He famously said, Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. His version of religion wasn't about dogma. It was about the awe and humility inspired by the universe. Imagine a musician who hears a symphony for the first time. They don't see the conductor or the sheet music, but they're overwhelmed by the harmony and beauty of the sound. Einstein's view of God was much like that musician's experience, a profound admiration for the elegance of the cosmic symphony, even without knowing its composer. Einstein's and Spinoza's ideas resonate deeply with modern science. Both Einstein and Spinoza saw the universe as a unified whole, governed by laws of nature. This idea is echoed in today's scientific advancements, from quantum physics to the theory of everything. Einstein's and Spinoza's ideas resonate deeply with modern science. Astrophysicist Carl Sagan once said, The cosmos is within us. We are made of star stuff. We are a way for the universe to know itself. This sentiment mirrors Spinoza's belief in the interconnectedness of all things and Einstein's awe of the cosmos. Einstein spent much of his life searching for a unified field theory, a theory that could explain all the forces of nature as one. This quest reflects Spinoza's idea that everything in existence is part of a single, divine substance. Think of a weaver creating an intricate tapestry. Up close, the threads may seem chaotic, each color and strand going in a different direction. But when you step back, a beautiful, unified pattern emerges. 
For Spinoza and Einstein, the universe was like this tapestry. Every thread, no matter how small, contributes to the grand design. Let's take a closer look at some of the most profound statements by Einstein and Spinoza and what they teach us about life and the universe. Einstein once wrote, My religiosity consists in a humble admiration of the infinitely superior spirit that reveals itself in the little that we, with our weak and transitory understanding, can comprehend of reality. This humility in the face of the unknown is deeply inspiring. Spinoza believed that understanding the universe leads to freedom. He wrote, The more we understand individual things, the more we understand God. For Spinoza, knowledge wasn't just power, it was a pathway to enlightenment. In a world that often feels divided, Einstein's and Spinoza's philosophies remind us of our shared humanity and connection to the universe. They challenge us to look beyond differences and see the bigger picture. A single candle doesn't banish all the darkness, but it provides enough light to see the next step. For Einstein and Spinoza, their philosophies were like candles, illuminating small parts of the vast unknown and inspiring others to continue exploring. As we conclude, let's reflect on the lessons we can learn from Einstein's belief in Spinoza's God. Einstein's life was driven by curiosity, whether it's exploring science, philosophy, or art, a curious mind opens doors to endless possibilities. Spinoza's philosophy teaches us that everything is interconnected. Whether we're scientists, artists, or spiritual seekers, we're all part of the same universe. Both Einstein and Spinoza found profound meaning in the universe. They remind us to step back from the noise of daily life and marvel at the bigger picture. Einstein's belief in Spinoza's God challenges us to rethink what we mean by faith, science, and spirituality. It's not about choosing one over the other. It's about finding harmony between them. As Einstein himself said, Science without religion is lame. Religion without science is blind. The universe is vast, mysterious, and full of wonder, and that in itself is divine. So, what do you think? Do Einstein's and Spinoza's ideas resonate with you? Let's start a conversation in the comments. And if you enjoyed this journey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this video. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring.